Yeah. Really filling out our metal chest. Best thing to think about as we uh, deal with the probability that our race will be annihilated. Hmm. Ah, our metal chest is actually full now, apart from those, of course. But it's very hard. But it's impossible, actually, to get uh, all four of those filled on your first run through. You have to make, I think, Captain, which uh, is just not doable. Whereas Triple Ace is doable if you are really, really good and basically take every kill for yourself. So, in short, unless you're going to be obsessive compulsive about it, uh, which sucks the game, the fun out of the game for me. So, yeah. Anyway, full metal chest, so we must be getting near the end. Let's find out this super secret plan they devised. With over 100,000 casualties and more Sheevans incoming, we have no hope of holding Capella. Our only real chance is to seal off the system and prevent the invasion from spreading to other Terran Vasudan worlds. If we fail to contain the Sheevan advance, we will unleash the Second Great War, a conflict we have virtually no chance of surviving. The Lucifer fleet we defeated 32 years ago is nothing compared to the strength of this armada. Command is committed to getting every last Terran out of the system. Over 80 Sheevan juggernauts are now in position around the Capella Sun. Science vessels monitoring their activity have detected an anomalous subspace field rippling from the Juggernaut fleet. Though we can barely detect the field with our instruments, its intensity has been increasing slowly over the past 72 hours. We have known since the Great War that the Sheevans possess advanced subspace technologies, but this field goes beyond our wildest speculations. The Sheevans may be powering up a new kind of weapon, the likes of which we have never before encountered. Who knows why they need it? Preparations are now underway to collapse the Epsilon Pegasi jump node. A Great War Era destroyer, the GTD Bastion, will contain multiple Misan warheads that will detonate inside the node. Scientists believe an explosion of sufficient magnitude will cause this node to collapse as evidenced by the destruction of the Lucifer 32 years ago. The detonation of the Lucifer's reactors sealed off the Sol jump node in Delta Serpentis and severed all contact with Earth. The Bastion has completed its modifications in the Vega system and is now entering Capella. The Bastion, of course, being the destroyer that launched the fighter wings against the Lucifer last game. Skeptics have argued the Sheevans made inter-system jumps without using nodes in Ross-128, Ikea, Vega, and other systems at the outbreak of the Great War. However, scientists assure us this plan will work. Those Sheevans have used uncharted nodes and nodes too unstable for Terran and Basudan vessels. They are as dependent on jump nodes as we are. Nevertheless, we must accept this strategy as nothing more than a temporary measure. Once we have evacuated all civilian and military personnel from the Capella system, we will send a second destroyer, also carrying Misan warheads through the Capella jump node in Vega. If we succeed in sealing off both nodes, the Alliance will have trapped the Shivans in this system. If we fail, we face certain annihilation. This is our Alamo pilots. We hold them here, or we die trying. Certainly sounds like it. Uh, <laughs> this plan is pretty desperate, considering Capella is a viable system, 250 million refugees, and all the logistical nightmare. Uh, plus permanently losing two systems, which uh, and access to Nebula as well. So. Not a measure to be taken lightly, but probably in the face of 80 Sheevan juggernauts, um, the wiser of two potential decisions. The GTD Bastion will enter the Capella system in 1835 hours. We're sending in the 116th to escort the warship into position. Our forward observer units near the juggernauts are calling for backup, so we'll send in the 83rd. The 309th will assist with the containment effort at the Vega node. 
And as for the 70th Blue Lions, we've got something special for you. Oh dear. Your mission is to create a diversion at the Gamma Draconis node. The operation here will be a feint to lure the Shivan Armada. The Colossus and his group will form a battle line near the node. By focusing our firepower here, we'll draw the brunt of the Shivan offensive. Meanwhile, on the other side of the system, the Bastion will collapse the node to Epsilon Pegasi. Your objectives are simple. Destroy all enemy targets. Be advised, reinforcements will not be readily available. The recent engagement, the Colossus sustained damage to its fighter bays. You'll have to hold out until they get the flight deck cleared. Good luck, pilot. Ain't that always the way? Please review your objectives for this mission. Okay, neutralize off enemy fighters and destroy targets of opportunity. Pretty simple, and a quite a large selection of ships. So we should probably stick Gamma Wing and Hercules Mark IIs just for their own safety. <laughs> we all know how the AI fa fares in Minecraft. There we go. Yeah, weapons. I'm actually happy with that combination. UDA Kaiser is excellent for dogfighting, while the Maxim is great for taking out harder targets at range, which we're doing quite a bit of. Hmm. Trebuchets, we don't want trebuchets because, uh... Let's give them harpoons over tornadoes. The Arrhenias, at least. And, yeah, Maxim cannons will help as well good for quickly taking down larger ships if necessary which probably will be necessary and we've got tornadoes going there you guys meanwhile okay that should do and what missile should I take how many trebuchets can we fit? we can fit six trebuchets down there and in that case I'm going to probably take uh, some tempest dump fires for the dogfighting segments of this. Okay, I'm gonna go after the freighters now. Command, the Shivans have four undefended freighters in Sydney. The Tuckers on the Star have not responded to our deployment. Proceed, Colossus. We are sending in the fleet to attack the freighters. Ooh, we've already run out of juice. We want to recharge. You call that a fleet command? We can use more help out here. Stay away from the cruisers, Alpha. Concentrate on fighters and let our warships do their job. Okay, one down. Good bases here. Okay. Kane class. In a second. It's no big threat. I'm going to help soften up these uh, crates for the warships. The less distraction they have, the better. Okay, I'm going to go off Kane now. 